Welcome back. This is, uh, yeah, update 127, part 10 now. So here we go. All right, just got this one in. Watched the trailer. It looked to be a lot of fun and violent. So we'll see. I'm definitely digging this reversible cover art. So that's a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, I have an another one from IFC Midnight. 68 kill. Yeah, it just looks to be pretty wild and fun. So we'll see. That's that. Another one added into the numbers section. Uh, eight Eyes, crazy nice addition here. I uh, got this from Vinegar Syndrome, the movie. Check the trailer out. Look like, look to be right up my alley. So, and it is a beautiful addition. I know that, that much I know. So, Eight Eyes. It's, been, it's gotten some good buzz from what I've read online. So, cool. So, what is that? Extremely nice addition for this movie. Um, yeah, Vinegar Syndrome. Just making sure it was Vinegar Syndrome, not one of their partner labels, but yeah, Vinegar Syndrome. So that's Eight Eyes. And then the latest one from um, Featured Productions, of uh, Vile Video, excuse me, Vile Video Productions. Um, another extreme horror movie called Everything Decays. Just got this in uh, recently. So pretty cool. Looking forward to checking that out. Latest one from uh, Jonathan Doe. So yeah, looks to be uh, pretty bad shit. <laughs> Let's see. So that's that. Ah, uh, just another indie slasher. I've been picking up quite a few of these indie slashers as it feels like lately. Uh, this one's Faceless After Dark. Dig the title. Trailer seemed uh, kind of cool, so give that a shot. Ah, uh, from Dark. Yeah, late, latest one from Dark Sky Films. So, cool. Love me some Dark Sky Films. Another company I dig. So that's that. Uh, another one that uh, looks to be amazing. Uh, coming from Terror Vision, Family Dinner. I don't... Man, I've had this kind of sitting on the shelf for a bit, so I've kind of forgotten. Um, I think this is a cannibal-themed movie. It's been a minute forgive me but yeah family dinner it's coming from terror vision so they put out a lot of cool shit so um yeah it just it just seemed like a no-brainer to me check that out they're about to feast kind of standing over uh looming over a dinner table there with some sort of chopped up meat pretty gross so family dinner some new horror let's keep it refreshing <laughs> good stuff feed me speaking of cannibal stuff this looked to be pretty intense uh, another label that I dig XYZ I think are pretty underrated XYZ label um, yeah look at check that out <laughs> decapitated eaten on foot wrapped in guts come on sign me up I'm all about that feed me <laughs> that looks pretty wild. So that's that. Uh, yeah, XYZ, another underrated, extremely underrated uh, label. And then this looked like to be a pretty intense, uh, I'm guessing, a uh, it's, it's a revenge. I don't know if it's rape revenge, but definitely a thriller, uh, revenge thriller, uh, gay-themed one called uh, Thimmy. Check the trailer for this out. It looked to be really well done. Look to, to get pretty intense, psychological, mess with your head kind of stuff, revenge, that kind of thing. So I got this from, did I also pick this up from Banner Syndrome, right? One of their partner labels. That's, yeah, I did. Okay. So cool. Dig the tile. Nice and simple. Thimmy. It's about a drag queen, gets beat up. Um... Some guy that's like in the closet, gay guy. Um, he's the, like the bad guy in this movie. I don't know. It looks to be pretty, pretty intense. So check it out. Uh, the latest one from uh, where did I get this from? A Broke House, uh, another uh, company that's excites me and puts out crazy, extreme, off the wall crap. Um, just insane stuff. This one is, I think this is a, no, it's not a double feature. Um, 
flesh what is it flesh and flesh and blood a go-go aka uh, los angeles Bl uh, bondage murders crazy so yeah latest one from uh, broke house try and keep up with the, uh, the news and what they're up to so another company i feel it's uh probably underrated a lot of good stuff out there uh and then i'd like to thank uh miles recommended this to me um just another recommendation so i appreciate that because i totally blew this off i watched the trailer and i just didn't get anything from it the first time and uh it's called freaky farley i got this one through uh golden ninja video um i watched the trailer again and i'm like well it does look to be like it's gonna have some humorous moments so um uh, just a psycho kid going around murdering people in his neighborhood and a uh, girl sort of tags along and becomes friends with him or something like that it's got some years on it it's from 2007 so i didn't realize this movie was that old already but i had heard of this movie uh it it, it did have a dvd back in the day um i never picked that dvd up because like i said i just at the time this movie just never attracted i was just never attracted to it but um I'll give it a shot. I do appreciate the recommendations, so thanks uh, thanks for recommending it to me. Uh, you know who you are, so appreciate it. Uh, luck, luck, lucky for me, the copies were still available, so snatched one up. Golden Ninja Video, they ship out fast, too. I mean, they're from, like, uh, up, up in uh, Canada, so that, that got to me pretty quick. Uh, I dug this one, and I agree, man. This is totally, like, the real Ghostbusters vibe with this movie, for sure. It's like the live action version of like like that cartoon so I, I definitely got that vibe from this one so yeah i totally agree about that um people were saying that this is um they're just comparing it to like the real ghostbusters cartoon and uh i totally see that so yeah ghostbusters frozen empire i had fun with it good family night movie so yeah we all had a blast good stuff so, i dug it still can't nothing top that first ghostbusters movie I know, cranky old man me um, is coming out. But, yeah. Ghoulies 2, making its way on a 4K. I love this movie. It's just a ton of fun. Never gets old. Probably when it comes to, like, the little creature feature movies, this is... This could be number one. Um, uh, I don't I, I don't want to say that, though. I'll have to reevaluate re the other uh, creature feature movies, the small 80s ones. Anyway, uh, Ghoulies 2, good stuff, 4K. Um, I should have held out, because they even mentioned that, that it was possible for this to hit 4K, but... Well, there you have it. Uh, the Great Alligator? It's been forever since I've watched this movie, so... Nice upgrade from uh, Severn. That's cool. Now in 4K. Definitely dig this. This latest edition is just sexy. That is just... Yeah, they got me. They got me. I do appreciate that it's got the, the reversible cover, so that's cool. Um, I can't make up my mind which one I want to use because I totally dig that as well, just because of the orange and the greens. It's a lot of fun. That's totally VHS City right there. But, yeah. Cool movie. Uh, not... Uh... I don't even think this one's in would be when it comes to killer alligator movies i don't even know if this would even hit my top five because i mean i already did killer crocodile one and two so i mean that's two slots taken up right there and then you have the classic from like 1980 alligator you got that one so i honestly don't even know if this would even make it in my top five and then i like crocodile from like oh five or something like that i, don't know, I can't remember and then there's eating a lot toby hooper's eating alive which is kind of as fun redneck sort of like or hick hick horror whatever you want to call it anyway i'm rambling um but i dig this movie i need to revisit it It has been a long time so my tune might i may change i may change my tune so i'm just talking to myself literally <laughs> the guyver one of my favorites as a kid growing up so i'm glad i'm, I'm happy to have, finally have a copy i knew i, I did not have this on even on dvd i didn't never got around to picking up a dvd so I know, it's embarrassing. But, yeah, finally happy to have uh, the Giver onto the shelf. And I only know the first movie. I never got around to... At least I don't remember this. I don't remember watching the sequel. And um, I'm completely ignorant when it comes to the, the anime. 
the cartoon guy from stuff, so the source material and all that. I don't know anything about that. This is the only thing I grew up with is just this first movie with Mark Hamill. Uh, I love the monster suits. The practical effects are amazing. I believe it's Screaming Mad. Yeah, Screaming Mad George, I believe, did that. Had a hand with all that stuff. My One of my favorite all-time scenes in movie history is the cockroach transforming scene. That is just brutal. Um, yeah, that's just a perfect example of what Screaming Mad George could do. Uh, anyway, the guy were good stuff. I do want to watch part two because I've been told that, like, it's truer to the source material and it's not as much comedy and it's actually really like darker and that kind of thing. So, but yeah, I'm thrilled to finally have Guyver added into my um, collection. So it's been a long time coming. So cool. Uh, that was another one of those movies. I, it was always on TV. It didn't have to rent that at all. It was on like USA channel or something like that. All right, continuing on, I've got them all on Blu-ray. This is the latest one, the HP Lovecraft uh, Film Festival uh, collection of shorts. Uh, this one's the best of 2022. So I have to try and keep my eye out for 2023. I forget, uh, they drop them at random times. So it's kind of like I'm trying to keep, try to, to not forget. Um, and I'm still behind on some of the DVD. Uh, they do have the DVD only ones. I think they started sometime maybe 2012. But those have been since long out of print. I only have a few of those DVDs. But I would like to complete this series. I'm hoping they go back and revisit the older editions and put them onto Blu-ray. I don't, I don't know if they're ever going to do that. I, I hope they do. It'd be nice to have all these, um, all these, all this collection on Blu-ray. And then uh, another DVD to get rid of. Uh, In the Woods. This is a cool little movie. Weird little movie. Uh, guys find like a strange. Ah, uh, monster skull in the woods, and um, unluck follows from from there. So, unluckiness. So, bad stuff ensues. Um, I remember clear as day finding that DVD at Suncoast. Believe it or not, when Suncoast was a thing. But uh, yeah, cool little movie in in the woods. That's a nice surprise from Terravision to uh, release this movie. So, cool. Give people chance to like rediscover the uh a movie like this so i have to looking forward to watching it again it's been some years so yeah cool little weird movie I, lo I love it it's unique i don't know any other horror movie that's like that one so i think it's safe to say that that one's very very unique and entra uh, it's a double feature that uh it just looked too wild to pass up like a ton of fun, all kinds of go like gore, violence. It's another one of those Mad Max uh, knockoff type movies, uh, post-apocalyptic craziness. Um, Entropedious Punks and Revenge of the Punks. <laughs> That's awesome. So cool. Vinegar Syndrome. First full cover, nice collector's booklet, really cool. I think these are Mexican movies. Yeah. Spanish. From what I gather. Yeah. But I've never seen these before. Never even heard of it. So until now. That's that. And then this is probably like my fourth or fifth time uh, buying this movie. Um within the span of five years it feels like all-time classic i can't help myself you gotta have this you have to have to have a copy of this movie on your shelf somewhere and that is the original the invasion of the body snatchers good sci-fi horror gotta have it now making its way onto 4k so that's cool i mean this movie hit blu-ray i think three times it's, it's, it's wild i think the license got passed around like two other companies or something like that but here we are again. Um, yeah, I've, I feel like I've bought this movie a lot. Um, but it's a great movie, and it's one that I'm always going to go back to the well to because I, I just love everything about this movie. So, um, and then I picked up the Jaws. Now I've got all these Alan 4K uh, Jaws 3, 
which uh, uh, I kind of camp. I love Jaws 3. And then Jaws of Revenge, which uh, is my least favorite out of the franchise. There's some things about it I do like, but it's very dreary and depressing. And uh, But there are a few things I like. I like that, uh, I believe this is the one where the shark sounds like a lion, which is crazy. Um, it's hilarious. But uh, yeah, now in 4K, I hear part three is kind of weird on the 4K, but uh, I was going to pick it up anyway. So <laughs> I had already made up my mind anyway. Ain't nobody going to sway me. <laughs> I just I get what I get. Uh, last Embrace. Um, I'm glad this got re-released because... Uh, oh, pfft, the Kino one. Yeah, it was... Um, long out of print so i was kicking myself for um just being late to discovering that movie um so i'm happy that this did get re-released so it's one of those uh, thrillers that i'd been on the hunt for um that kino had released some years back i believe it was through kino but i've heard nothing but great things about this movie last embrace gets pretty intense crazy little thriller so really nice addition it's pull tab with MGM doing the whole media book style here. Definitely try to keep an eye on what this company does. I'm going to slaughter that name, so I'm not even going to try. But yeah. A lot of positive reviews about this movie, so. Roy Schneider. I think that's who's in this movie. Gotta fix this just right. Last embrace. So yeah, I didn't want to sleep on it this time. So I, I mean, I missed the first. I missed it when it was first released. And it went out of print. So definitely not gonna miss it this go around. So yeah, last embrace. I uh, heard a lot of good things about this one. This looks to be pretty crazy. The last stop in Yuma County. So yeah. It's got nothing but good buzz on this one, so I'll check it out. Certified fresh from Rotten Tomatoes, right? So, <laughs> that's that. And then I dug this. I, I I slept. I slept hard on this one, um, but I finally finally joined the party and uh, yeah, had fun with this one. I dug it like me. Um, so found a good deal on this copy here. Uh, like I said, I was a little late to the party, so this one kind of rose up in price a bit over the years. But yeah, I, I dug it. It get pretty crazy, some murders and stuff, and it just gets unhinged. Um, yeah, she's she's nuts. And it's got what's his name in there, Fassbender. He's in here. But it's shot really well. I mean, the cinematography and everything is great. So, yeah, I'm a little embarrassed. I, I slept hard on this one, like me. And then this looked to be pretty cool. Another blind buy, Limbo. Another one of those really nice media book editions on 4K. Yeah, just looks looks crazy. I'll check that out. Limbo. And then uh, pre-order from SRS Cinema. Uh, this one looked to be really good. Um, just by going with the trailer and then reading some positive reviews on this one. So I thought that was pretty cool that the, this got picked up through SRS Cinema. Uh, liver leaf i think this got delayed a bit i felt like i've been waiting forever for this movie to hit my doorstep so liver leaf looks to be pretty good i'm looking forward to checking it out nothing but praise for this movie uh from what i gather so cool uh living a zombie dream doubled with uh kitty kitty killers kitty killers <laughs> what a title I mainly got her for living a zombie dream because that just, just right seems like a no-brainer to me. So, um, Saturn's core, yeah. Some crazy obscure stuff. So, I take it these are movies that they have a VHS tape and those tapes probably go for like $1,500. It's one of those obscure type movies, I guess. Um, but yeah. It looks to be kind of neat. We'll see. Two movies never never heard of until now. Uh, Lost Profit. 
just seems sort of like a mind fuck type movie. So could not resist. Lost profit. We'll see. From VHS Hit Fest. Is it VHS Hit Fest or is it VHS Shit Fest? I uh, help me out. Help me out here because I'm I'm clueless. So I mean just the way that the label looks, it looks like it says VHS and then you have Hit Fest. That's how I'm reading it, but like it just seems like everybody just says VHS Shit Fest, which is fun to say. I can't blame you. But I don't wanna be I don't wanna I don't wanna make it sound like I'm um I like, it, I like it's an insult, so I don't want to do that. But I don't know. Somebody let me know. I'm ignorant. Let me <laughs> help me out. Uh, yeah, help me out with that one. Um, and then I picked this one up mainly for like two movies that caught my eye. This is a nice box set, though. I got to be careful with it because it's already like a small chip down here. It's not a big deal. It's just a little plastic piece here. The uh, the Lucas Moodyson collection. I got it mainly for, um, because there seems to be two movies that are pretty messed up, but they all look interesting in their own right, and this is a really nice box set from Arrow, so pretty cool. I'm completely new to this director, so we'll see. Oh man, it's all messed up. Well, it's like split right there, but oh well, it's not a big deal. As long as the box itself is fine. But no, this is cool. It's actually got art on it, so... Just gotta be careful with it. But yep. Yeah, check that out. Uh, what? Let me tell you guys what I got this for. I got it for... Uh, I can't find it, but it's in there somewhere. Hole in my heart. That one looks crazy. And there's another one. A light. Lilia forever. That one too. And probably another one as well. But yeah. Cool. And then Orson Welles. And um, I said Orson Welles with the 1984. But that's a completely different director. So my bad on that. That was a big mess up on me their last names are sort of similar so i got that mixed up when i was talking about 1984 in my previous update but this one is orson wells uh, Macbeth. i have not i don't think i've seen this version before um so yeah with um uh, no i don't think i have it's got Roddy McDowell in it. Okay, cool. From uh, 1948-1950. Okay. Two different cuts. Okay. And then some more documentaries. Um, this one's on a witch. Uh, specifically, uh, the Bell Witch. Uh, Mark of the Bell Witch. So cool. I'm always down for some witch documentaries. And then Upgrade. This is a fun movie. I dig this movie. Um, maybe because I like all that 50s sci-fi stuff. So this plays like a, just like a love letter to all that. And uh, as well as how what the 50s was experienced with the whole atomic bomb situation and everything. Um, Matinee. Fun movie. I dig it. It's a little bit underrated movie for sure. Okay, John Goodman. Um, well, I always like John Goodman. So cool. It's a nice surprise. I was not expecting that. So yeah, this one's coming from Shout Factory's uh, Select line. Matinee. And then collecting these Mind Melter, uh, the Mind Melter series, um, slowly but surely. I've got volume 9 through 12. So I've got one clear up to 12 now. And then uh, this is the latest one, so I just went ahead and just placed a pre-order on this one. Mind Melters 45 through 48. I, I think they're they're like up to like, like 
52 now or i know it's i know it's i know i've seen 50 but i think they they release like four at a time and then they'll they'll go back and they'll release it as a, like a collection pack so um these just look like a ton of crazy fun and just really random stuff just so yeah um, i've watched a few of them and uh yeah i, I I've, I've been digging these so pretty cool and they look pretty snazzy on the shelf as well uh, James Balsamo, uh, indie movie there. And then I'm extremely late to the party. I have yet to see this. This is like the latest from Rob Zombie. The Monsters. A new take on the Monsters. So um, from what I gather, it didn't do so well. Or I don't know. It's just like any zombie movie. Um, it's always, there's always a divide. People either hate it or love it. So i'll give it a chance I've, i haven't seen it yet so i mean it just looks like something that you just have fun having on your tv during halloween time so um that right there is enough reason for me to uh, do that so i'll probably do it this year just have it playing on the tv in the background or something after i watch it i do want to watch this movie obviously but yeah the monsters um visual wise it looks looks cool <laughs> i mean i've only seen the trailer uh, the Night Caller. I this one's not ringing any bells. Um, never heard of Night Caller. It's a newer movie, right? Yeah, from twenty twenty one, Dark Star Pictures. At first, I was thinking it was a um, an older slasher movie that just got rescued, but no, this is actually a newer uh, movie, Night Caller. Uh, looks to be pretty intense for sure. What's that? I'll come at you with a part 11. It'll probably be like a part 127. I'll probably have 12 parts total, I've been thinking. We'll see. Um, but let me just get, at least get through the, uh, I'll go through the, um, the O's here. Nightmare Beach. It's been forever since I've seen this slasher. Um, it's been a few years, so another upgrade. Now making its way onto 4K. Umberto Lindsay. Forgot he directed this until uh, this popped up again. So yeah, Nightmare Beach. Pretty cool. John Saxton, of course, man. Awesome. This one is yeah, Ke the Kino Cult, which has been very exciting. Uh, what I'm definitely digging uh, Kino doing the whole cult line so that's a lot of fun cool and then the prequel to the omen check it out i've got all the omen movies so of course i'm gonna snatch this up and just uh i didn't even i was gonna rent it at first but i was like no I'm, i know me i want a physical copy so i'm not gonna throw more money on this to, to rent it but i'll check it out it's actually seems to have gotten some uh good reviews so cool the first omen prequel cool blu-ray only on that one i think or did this have a 4k i, I have a blu-ray i don't know if it got 4k or not so uh this one looked to be a lot of fun um just looked like practical gooey fun low budget yeah gory effects um ouija if i'm saying ouija blood ritual it's been forever since i picked up a dustin mills flick so this is one of his movies well, i have quite a few of them um i don't collect every, all of them but just ones that just just pop out to me and seem like it'd be a ton of fun so i will check it out i got this one through i think i got this through make flicks so make flicks is carrying copies of this uh i was it was either that or um I don't know if I picked up at Grant, but I picked that up at Netflix. And then last, uh, for part 10, um, part 10, uh, is, um, Azan's, uh, Transgressive Triple. So, it's, um, three short, three short, no, what is it? Yeah, three movies. Um first one's from 1998 it's just called sitcom 
uh, Criminal Lovers from 1999, and then Water Drops on Burning Rocks from 2000. So you want to talk about some crazy obscure stuff here. Um, yeah. Looks to be uh, uh, some murder and backstabbing and just craziness going on with these movies. We'll see. So that's that. And that is part 10, guys. I'll come at you with a part 11 um, ASAP. So, And then I got a stack of books, so I'll do another horror book collection update. That'll be coming up. I'll, that'll probably be sometime, um, well, next month, which is around the corner here. It'll be August. So later. I appreciate you guys' time. Take it easy.